वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जियॉन्स टेक्स सो टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट इंपोर्ट सीएसपी फाइल इन एसक्यूएल सर्वर टेबल सो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अबाउट माय सेल्फ सो फ्रेंड्स आई हैव दैट सीएसपी फाइल एंड एक्सेल फाइल इन आवर इन आवर डेस्कटॉप व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू एम्प्लॉय ओके सो लेट्स इंपोर्ट द लेट्स ओपन द एम्प्लॉय सीएसपी फाइल सो द फाइल इज ओपनिंग ओके now the file has been opened okay so you can see this is the information it it has the employee id name phone number address city country and pin code okay so all this is this column has employee id name phone number okay so we will try to import this file into the csv file into the sql server table and its sheet name is employee you can see that okay so let's try to import so let's go to the sql server management studio okay so i have this database geons tech okay so i will try to import that file a csv file in this database okay so just right click on the geons database okay so there is an option of task okay so, and just go to import flat file okay so this page will open okay import from flat file geon stack okay so click on next okay so it is asking the file location here location of the file to be imported just so just click on browse okay so just select that csv file which i have in this folder on the desktop there is an employee uh, folder in which this file exists employee.csv okay so let's open this so this file has come here oh, this path has come here okay so you can enter the table name here or it will it will take the sheet name actually by default it will take the sheet name okay also it will create the new table employee into the database and it will insert all the rows from csv to that employee table okay so schema is dbo so click on next okay so you can see whatever the data inside the csv is shown here employee first column employee id name phone number address city all are showing here okay so click on next you can see it is showing the column names which are available inside the csv and its data type is showing as by default so you can change the data type here also as per your uh, if you don't uh, found this is not some data type is irrelevant or you want to increase the length length of the size okay length of the data type then you can increase from here for an example and worker its employee id is an and worker 50 so you can change it to uh, 150 here sorry so you can change it to 150 here here also okay so i have changed this employee id data type to and worker 150 okay so you can make any of the column as primary key also you can click on allow null also okay so just click on next so it is showing the import information this is the server name this is the database name dgeon stack in which the new table will be created under the schema dbo.employ okay and this file csv file is going to import in this table okay so if i click on finish it will create a new table employ and it will copy all the rows from the csv to the table so i am clicking on finish now the message has came operation completed inserted data success okay so you can if you click on success click here it will show that that following task completed successfully inserted data so let's go to the sql server management studio and let's see this employee table is created or not okay so so i am into the geon stack database just type the just type the select command select star from dbo this is the schema dot employ so this table has been created okay you can see so this table has six rows 1 2 3 4 5 6 you can see all the data is copied into the the table 
employee okay so it will it has created a new table and all the data from csv it has copied so friends hope you understood this thank you very much so friends this is my youtube channel geon stacks please like and subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon for latest updates so let me show you how to search my channel in youtube okay so just go to youtube and in search bar just type j y e o n s geon stack okay just click on search you will find this channel okay and this is my channel name geon stack i request you to just click on subscribe and press the bell icon as well